Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Karuna teaching the course Digital Signal Processing. In this video, we are concentrating on frequency response analysis of discrete time system. Let X of n is the input signal, Y of n is the output signal, H of n is the impulse response. Let us take X of n is e power j omega n as input signal for the LTA system so that y of n can be y of n can be obtained by using convolution sum y of n equal to h of k x of n minus k k equal to minus infinity to infinity here x of n we are taking e power j omega n that's what it can be written in terms of e power j omega h of k e power j omega n minus k substitute n minus k in place of n from which we get e power j omega n summation of h of k e power minus j omega k where k varies from minus infinity to infinity so e power j omega n is the input we take Fourier transform of this signal then you'll get h of e power j omega this is known as frequency response so this frequency response can be expressed in polar form magnitude is the modulus of h of e power j omega and this is the phase if the magnitude response is even function of omega then modulus of h of e power j omega is modulus of h of e power j omega if the phase response is odd function of omega then phase can be expressed theta of omega equal to minus theta of minus omega because of the even and odd property we can plot frequency response only in the frequency range omega equal to 0 to pi let us see the transfer function of the system if h of e power j omega is the Fourier transform of the impulse response h of n let us apply x of n to the system then system will give the output response y of n okay so we can say y of n is the transfer function of the x of n y of n is the transfer function of x of n we get the output x of n multiplied with the impulse response apply for a transform on both sides then we will get pi of e power j omega equal to x of e power j omega into h of e power j omega from this we can write it as h of e power j omega equal to pi of e power j omega by x of e power j omega that is output by input so transfer function is the ratio of output to input where h of e power j omega is the transfer function of the system let us see frequency response of the first order system let us consider difference equation for first order system is given by y of n minus a into y of n minus 1 equal to x of n where x of n is the input signal y of n is the output signal apply for a transform on both sides to this equation at zero initial conditions so that we will get for a transform of y of n is y of e power j omega minus a into for a transform of y of n minus 1 is the a into e power minus j omega into y of e power j omega for a transform of x of n is the x of e power j omega okay take common y of e power j omega in, into 1 minus a into e power minus j omega is equal to x of e power j omega from this equation, we get frequency response of the causal LTA system whose impulse response is h of n. Okay, so h of e power j omega equal to y of e power j omega by x of e power j omega equal to 1 by 1 minus a into e power minus j omega. This is the transfer function of the system. It can be expressed as e power minus j theta can be written as cos theta minus j sin theta due to this minus cos theta minus j sin theta due to this minus we will get plus j sin theta so h of e power j omega equal to 1 by 1 minus a cos omega plus j sin theta h of n is the impulse response if you apply Fourier transform on this impulse response we will get h of e power j omega Fourier transform of h of n is the h of e power j omega so h of n is equal to Fourier inverse transform of h of e power j omega so h of n can be written as inverse Fourier transform of 1 by 1 minus a e power minus j omega 
from this we can write it as a power n u of n from this equation we can write magnitude response as well as phase response magnitude response h of j omega modulus of h of e power j omega equal to 1 by 1 root over 1 minus a cos omega square plus a square sin sin square omega equal to 1 by root over 1 plus a square minus 2a cos omega next phase response is minus tan inverse a sin omega by 1 minus a cos omega from this magnitude and phase response now by varying the value of omega we plot the magnitude response and phase response of first order system for a equal to 0 0.8 calculate magnitude and phase for omega 0 pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 and so on up to 2 pi okay so if you calculate then you will get all the values from these values we can plot magnitude response as well as phase response all of you calculate and plot the values of magnitude and phase so you have to use the calculator while writing dsp final exam let us see the problem determine and sketch the magnitude and phase response y of n equal to 1 by 2 x of n plus x of n minus 2. Given that the y of n output response is 1 by 2 x of n plus x of n minus 2. Apply Fourier transform then we get y of e power j omega equal to summation of y of n e power minus j omega n. n varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. So apply this transform onto this given equation it can be written as x of n plus x of n minus 2 into this is y of n okay e power minus j omega n okay from this split the two terms x of n term x x of n minus 2 term okay apply for a transform then you will get a half x of e power j omega for this and e power minus 2 j omega into x of e power j omega for this term okay so take common x of e power j omega by 2 then you will get 1 plus this into 1 plus e power minus 2 j omega from this we get transfer function h of e power j omega equal to y of e power j omega by x of e power j omega equal to 1 plus e power minus 2 j omega by 2 okay e power minus theta can be written as cos theta minus j sin theta so apply that uh, formula then we'll get 1 plus cos 2 omega minus j sin 2 omega by 2 from this we have to plot magnitude response and phase response by calculating okay from this magnitude response we'll get cos omega and phase response we get minus omega we get minus omega for impulse response greater than 0 minus omega plus pi for impulse response less than 0 let us see how the plot will be take omega values from 0 to pi so this is magnitude response magnitude response at different values of omega substitute different values of omega then you will get the magnitude response values substitute different values of omega then we will get phase values from this table we can plot the magnitude response and phase response if you take omega equal to 2 pi by 3 then uh, phase angle is tan inverse minus tan omega so from this we will get tan inverse tan 2 pi by 3 is root 3 from this we will get root 3 tan inverse root 3 equal to pi by 3 okay likewise we will get positive values from here okay here uh, we get negative values but because of this uh, modulus we will get positive values okay thank you we will meet in next video